Hi! This is a very impromptu video and I'm not sure if I'm the best to explain things, um, but I'm going to do my best in this video. So today I had a whole bunch of negativity sent my way towards my shop, theopencrypt.com, and been accused of a lot of horrible things and I just wanted to explain everything because I, my intentions are never bad or mal- never anything like that. Um, I guess I just said things incorrectly and I'm gonna break down like a bunch of the stuff from my shop and tell you how I make it or how I get it or whatever. So that's what we're doing today. I have my husband on standby, not because I can't defend myself and or, or explain myself, it's just because I'm devastated upset. I've been crying all day and that's not the best mental state to be defending myself and explaining things properly. So hopefully he can explain things when I run across a spot that I just can't. And people were, I, people when I tried to defend myself on Instagram were saying that I was being too defensive or cagey or anything. It's not, I don't think it's cagey to say that you're mentally not well. I think it's the best way to say how you're dealing with something is to be honest about it. And I'm not good um, at all, <laughs> at all. So um, anything you see for the next couple of days uploaded on my channel was already pre-filmed. I'm going to be taking a break from the internet just because I can't do it. I just can't do it. And I know it's supposed to be like a YouTuber, don't let things get to you, but it fucking does. So yeah, so anyways, there was a bunch of accusations calling me a drop shipper, which I had to look up what that meant because I didn't even know what that term meant itself because I bulk wholesale buy a bunch of pendants or charms for my site for my earrings, which is what wholesaling is meant for and then I buy sterling silver or nickel free just depending on what color or style the earrings are and I you know add the I add on the hooks and I add the packaging and everything people are saying that I don't even like pack them myself or ship these orders out myself what you've ever bought from my shop you know it's not true like I'm putting every single pair of earrings on the hook I'm putting them in the packaging I'm packaging up individually I'm even most of the time if you ever order from my shop you'll get a handwritten note from me just saying thank you because I appreciate the business and I'm doing my best as a small business but people are saying just because I have wholesale pendants that it makes me not a real business or I'm scamming people and that's just not even true there's been problems with me saying things that are handmade and I am hand putting everything together like I can't wear earrings from like sites like Wish or anything because I have sensitive ears and I can't wear those things like I'm allergic to nickel. So what I did is I find things that I really think are cute and are meant to be resold and I add a more high-end luxury hook or chain to it so that people like me would be able to wear it and I feel like that's fair and it's what everyone else in the world does but because I'm a YouTuber I'm all of a sudden a bad person it feels like for that aspect and maybe I shouldn't put the word handmade on everything but the majority of my products in my shop like the candles and the wax melts and the soaps and everything are all handmade by me like it's not a scam like I'm, I'm making these things myself and the majority of my business is for the candles and wax melts and I really sell earrings because one I think they're cute and I can't wear a lot of those ones that I like online so I have to adjust and also because a lot of the times if I'm having an order with more than two candles in it the shipping cost that it costs me to ship it out is more than the shipping that my website charges so having earrings and stuff like that makes a little bit more beneficial for the candles to be worth it because I don't want to charge a ton of money for my products you know like I want everything to be affordable and I don't know, I just feel like it's so unfair to call me a scammer for literally making things myself. Like, I'm, I, I guess technically I'm putting things together myself, you know, but I am like, I'm putting everything together by hand. I'm packing everything individually by hand. I'm packing every order, you know, like, if people think the thing, I don't even have anything on me. Like, that doesn't make any sense. And they clearly don't know me or my channel to be saying things like this. And it feels slanderous and rude and like, I do make the majority of my stuff. Like, it's the hardest thing in the world to explain. Like, right. am I missing something here? No, you're just starting to get a little ranty. I am ranting because it's not fair. I know. I know, but the whole purpose of this is to not okay. defend yourself. Well, I have to defend myself. Or... But when people are talking about me, I'm not allowed to defend myself. It doesn't feel fair. It's fine. It's just some people, when you try to defend yourself, and you start talking about how you feel, they're immediately just going to click off your video. They don't care. Oh, I care how there I feel. Some, I, know, I know. Dying. I know. I know. But the purpose of this is to be more transparent and actually... I thought I was transparent. Walk, oh, I, I'm just saying that we, we need to walk them through why we're not considered scammers and what <sighs> our actual process is. I thought I is. did. 
No, I meant like with each literally Okay, individual. okay, I'll go through each thing. So, sorry, but I, I don't have the capacity to edit this video down very well. So, I, I have a bunch of my stuff here. I'm going to tell you where everything's from. So, like these charms that the, the whole thing is about. I buy a bulk of these. I add the sterling silver hooks. I have a little kit here where I add my sterling silver hooks or my nickel free hooks, depending on if it's silver or gold. I add the backings. I add the cards and the little bags. So here's the little bags and I make the little cards or I have little cards here and you know, I use little pliers and stuff. I keep everything sanitary away from anything. And then I hand pack them like this individually. Designs like my penguin, my Ellie scissor hands, my Kim scissor hands, my poison ivy, they're all designed by me. Like I made the graphic design thing and then I had them shipped out to be printed onto acrylic. And then here they are and I added the silver hooks and I repackaged them and everything. Same thing with the keychains that are like these designs. Like I made these designs. So there's that. Like any images on anything I either own the license to or I made it myself. So like that's it for the earrings things. As far as other accessories go, I have the license to this image. And then I, you know, I have someone print it onto acrylic pens and I order them in a bulk of 50 which lasts me for a really long time because I'm not like a major shop or anything. And then the same thing with the magnets. They are designs that I send off and they send them back to me and then I package them, which is, which I, so I like the magnets. I think they're fun. And then the magnets are only like $2. So it's not like I'm making a huge profit when I have to pay someone else to manufacture those things for me, but I still like the design. And I like adding more stuff to the shop, you know? Which, which by the way, with the whole man, all, you can be seen. Yeah. Which, by the way, manufacturers, a lot of people would, would think that that's like scamming, like we are just reselling stuff and whatnot. What if I put the image together? Well, no, so yeah, so we we may not, like some of the stuff, which a lot of the stuff she actually does design, like all of her like anime artistic style type stuff, she does design by hand. But other stuff, which we own the license to and whatnot, you know, we may get, have it sent out and made and then it comes back to us and then we throw everything together so we do put the stuff together which is where the handmade comes from it's not like we are like from scratch hand making it right we do get several different components from places but they do come straight to us and we do put it together and package it ourselves which that's exactly what manufacturings do i mean any product you could ever think of is made up of different components that the seller did not make themselves. So, I mean... Like if you buy a can of beans and someone made the can and then someone made the beans? Exactly. I mean, even sodas, right? Sodas, you have a factory. They get their ingredients from somebody else. They make their soda. All soda cans, like not many places, they buy soda cans from somebody else. Somebody else makes their soda cans. Somebody else prints their labels. It's actually kind of funny how, like, with the Is labels. It just, Anyways, uh -huh. they get all their stuff from somebody else because that's what it's designed for. They put it together and they sell it. That's kind of what we're doing for the most part no because i am making all the wax melts and all the candles well no so yeah for some of the stuff for like the earrings and the pendants right we buy those because they're specifically purpose but to no one be else is gonna have these because I, I have the design yeah 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 for some stuff yeah and then like you know for some you know very very few of like the pendants and and stuff like that you know we had noodle fell we, we, we had some issues where like, you know, yeah, you, you could, you, they would research them and find them everywhere. Well, yeah, you're going to find it's them. It's because they're meant to be resold. You're going to find them everywhere because those sellers do the same thing. They Everyone buy, does it, but I'm yeah. adding like sterling silver and nickel free things because I can't yeah. wear those things from other sites. And that's, and that's where, because some, some comments were also because they could find them elsewhere. They were saying that they weren't handmade and stuff where for that particular product, what we mean by handmade. I'm hand is building that it. Hand building is more, I guess would be the technical. But term. the majority of my shop is candles and wax melts, which I'm making 100%. I'm cutting out the labels myself. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, uh, but yeah, we, we replace all the stuff because there are certain people who do have skin sensitivity. So Which we do, I do. We do up the, the, you know, we get different chains, different metal hooks and stuff because of that. So that's what we mean by it's, you know, hand built, handmade. 
yeah. for those particular well, parts. Well, besides the earrings, because the earrings is not the whole point of my shop, I really want to be a candle and wax melt shop, but those things are heavier to ship, especially I do free shipping over $50, and a lot of times I do sales on top of everything too. So since if you buy like three candles or so, it's usually going to be like $11 to ship, and it costs $8 on my side shipping just because I, I don't want to charge too much shipping. Shipping prices scare me too. So, you know, I have to make a little bit of money and I usually make the little bit of cash through the earrings and sales and stuff. But, like, wax melts. Universal Monster, Public Domain Character, and then I altered the packaging, of course, to make it a wax melt candle. And then I'm hand melting soy wax. I use soy wax that melts more evenly for wax melts. I'm dyeing everything, I'm scenting everything, I'm chilling everything before adding the scent because that's the process. I'm hand hot gluing every wick into the jars of candles and the glass jars that I use aren't cheap on their own. Anyways, I like to use amber glass, they're very pretty. Like here is one of my candles, like I'm, I've been using this one, but I make these myself, like I'm hand melting everything. I have all these supplies and the supplies are not cheap and neither is the time that comes into making each one of these. Like I just don't know why people are saying my whole shop is a scam when I'm hand building everything and the majority of my shop is things that I'm making from scratch. Like and wax. And I can attest that it's made from scratch because literally every week I have to go out to the mailbox and carry in a crap load of soy wax. Right, that's I mean, just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> that's normal. Weird. Yeah, we, we made a lot of but, candles, right? We melt yeah. it down. We've got a little hand melter to fill in any bubbles, all that good stuff. So a lot of the stuff we do do by hand. By hand. And, the only, and I like it. The only thing that we buy from anyone else is the containers. Yeah, well, uh, I can't make jars. Exactly. But that's meant to be made just yeah, like the charms. Exactly. Is. It's just meant to be redone. And then, like... The dyes for these things are not cheap and it has been a learning curve to like make sure you get the most fragrance out of each thing and the dyes and stuff you gotta make sure you melt them properly at the right temperature you gotta chill them all that and you actually have to be like careful it's a process I'm sure you can look up how to make candles but I do make them by hand and I do like print out every label on a piece of label paper. By my printer and then I cut them all out by hand with a paper cutter. I label every single thing. I box them up. I put bubble wrap around each candle. I put them in a box and I seal that box. Like it's so they come like this. I just I, I it feels weird justifying myself when like people are like you can find all of her stuff online when it's literally part of something that I have improved and then the majority of my stuff is things that I made from scratch. Like it just doesn't feel fair at all. And then soaps. Soaps are goat milk soap bases I add fragrance dyes and things too and then add into well especially like jojoba oil I always want to call it jojoba oil jojoba oil and things like that I add it to make it more luxurious for the skin and I love goat milk so that's why I made these and this design mold is from Joanne's holiday section this year it's a mold it's you can get the molds anywhere this mold is from Amazon like it's it's a mold and I made the soap and I dyed it and fragranced it and everything like it's that's that same with bath salts I add I buy ingredients in bulk and I make the small bath salts these I think are 125 I think on my shop I changed the price certainly recently so I'm not really sure exactly I know it's not professional in this video but and then I'm cutting out all these little labels and sticking them on there and buying the food packaging safe things in bulk so they can be sealed and last a long time I'm buying I'm buying coffee grounds and brown sugar and everything like that for my scrubs by hand. I'm printing out all the labels. I'm cutting them out. Like it's, I'm going across town to print, <laughs> to press the blankets for my shop, which I'm sold out of currently. I also hand press both sides of the koozies so you can have like a cute little drink. Both sides of these are pressed separately by hand by me. Same thing with the sockies with the cute little cat and skull. I didn't know which size would be more popular, so I made two different sizes of the design, and I went across town, I used a facility, and I pressed the design and burned it into, it's through sublimation, burned the design into the sublimation. sock, sublimation. Did I say something wrong? You said subulation. Subulation, sublimation. So it, the design isn't a crunchy vinyl print on something, it's actually like, dyed. In the, it's, it's dyed it's into dyed the fabric. In fabric. Yeah, burned the dye into the fabric. Um, I don't... I don't know what else to explain. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. The, the reason that we wanted to, to just do this is because 
we no matter like how we word things or what we word we if if you feel like we're kind of deceiving or not we're, we're not trying to be if you want a further explanation or you want to see something else am i supposed to make things on camera if we need to go that far to an extent we kind of will obviously it's you know we don't want to Either way, it doesn't really matter. Most of the stuff that we make, you can just look up online how to do it. Yeah, you can look up how to make a candle. Exactly. Right, so... But you're you know, paying for the expertise of how it's made, and the dye, and the fragrance, yeah, and the jars. We just want to be more transparent if that, I thought I was being helps. transparent. Yeah, exactly. But, but because the charms, I didn't make something out of alloy, people think I'm doing something wrong. And I know yeah. by me just saying I'm doing something wrong over and over again in this video, people would be like, well, maybe she is. And that's not fair. Right. I know. It sounds offensive. I know. I don't know. I don't have anything else to say. So, yeah. Except summary, summary is pretty much everything is either, it's, most of it is handmade from scratch. Other stuff like the pendants, magnets, and stuff like that, we do order we, in we do order in like the different pieces but they're designed to be sold resold they're supposed to be yeah right? they're designed to be resold we just yeah we get them in and we we try and put you know like you know change Dude, something swear, all that good stuff so it's, anything it's anyone else could do this because it's a normal thing to do and it would be no yeah, big deal it's Any handmade shop slash in the world hand it. put together hand built, hand built? what what whatever have you but again the majority the of my site is candles and wax melts which i make and then yeah. the blankets and stuff i'm going across town and you know doing all that so hey, <sighs> if you have any questions or anything like please feel free to ask or just or just don't i'm not <laughs> yeah. i'm not begging for sales yeah. I, this is my livelihood this like the youtube and the shop thing or what i do to pay the bills and it's what i enjoy and it's my freaking job but i'm not gonna sit here and and beg for sales from people who think I don't deserve them. Like it's not it's not fair of me or my time to do that because most of the time I'm making candles all day long, and then people just want to talk about charms. And we do understand we can't please everybody. We're not looking. To, we're honestly we're not really looking intentionally to please anybody. We're just putting stuff out. Well, I out. like it when people if like my stuff. It, well, yeah. I mean, if you like it, and you want it, you can. If not, so be it. Yeah. yeah okay. Who's this? Booba Noodle. I, I just can't do this anymore. And people would be like, you're being so dramatic. It's not that big of a deal. It is when it's my livelihood and people are talking crap and I'm not allowed to defend myself. And then people are going to say I'm too defensive now. So I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. We're not editing this either because I can't look at it again. And, um, yay. Fun for me.